Hi, my name is Erica Chavez. In this video, we will review Lesson App 2.4. How big is your fridge? Here are the learning targets. Use the empirical rule to estimate the proportion of values in a specified interval in a normal distribution. Use the empirical rule to estimate the value that corresponds to a given percentile in a normal distribution. And use graphical and numerical evidence to determine if a distribution of quantitative data is approximately normal. These measurements describe the usable capacity in cubic feet of a sample of 36 side-by-side -side refrigerators. Question 1 asks us to make a histogram of the data and describe the shape of the distribution. I prefer to make this histogram using the SPA staplet site. Under one quantitative variable, you can enter in the variable name, don't forget the units. You can copy and paste the data and then click begin analysis. Make sure you change the graph type to a histogram and it builds it all for you. You can also make a histogram using a calculator. Looking at the shape, we can see that the shape of the distribution of usable capacity is roughly symmetric, single peaked, and somewhat bell shaped. Question two, use the summary statistics to calculate the percent of data values within one, two, and three standard deviations of the mean. How closely do the results match the empirical rule? Here are the summary statistics in the table. So first we're going to calculate the boundaries for one, two, and three standard deviations above and below the mean by taking the mean and adding and subtracting one standard deviation, two standard deviations, and three standard deviations. So for one standard deviation, what we're doing is 15.825 minus 1.217 to get the lower boundary. And then we're taking 15.825 and adding 1.217 to get the upper boundary. We repeat this for two standard deviations and three standard deviations. Next, we need to determine the percent of data values that fall within one, two, and three standard deviations of the mean. So by marking in the data set where 14.608 would fall, right here, and where 17.042 would fall, right here, we can determine there are 24 out of 36 data values that fall within one standard deviation of the mean. This is really quite close to 68%, which we would expect from the empirical rule. We repeat this for two standard deviations and three standard deviations. And we see that the numbers are very close to 68, 95, and 99.7. Based on your answers to questions one and two, is the distribution of usable capacity for these refrigerators approximately normal? Well, we originally said that the distribution is roughly symmetric, single peaked, and somewhat bell-shaped. And then we saw that the numbers, the percentages, are very close to 68.95 and 99.7. So we can say that the graphical and numerical evidence suggests that the distribution of usable capacity is approximately normal. For questions four and five, we're going to assume that the population distribution of usable capacity in side-by-side -side refrigerators is approximately normal with a mean of mu equals 16 cubic feet and a standard deviation of sigma equals 1.2 cubic feet. Question four, about what proportion of side-by-side -side refrigerators have a usable capacity between 13.6 and 19.6 cubic feet? So we're gonna use the empirical rule to solve this problem. As a reminder, the empirical rule states that in any normal distribution with a mean of mu and a standard deviation sigma, that about 68% of values fall within one standard deviation of the mean, and about 95% of values fall within two standard deviations of the mean, and about 99.7% of values fall within three standard deviations of the mean. This is known as the empirical rule. As a reminder, they told us that to assume that the distribution is approximately normal with a mean of 16 and a standard deviation of 1.2. So we'll begin by drawing and labeling a normal curve. 
place the mean in the center of the curve and add 1.2 as you continue to go to the right to get each of those markers, the standard deviation marks. As you go to the left, subtract 1.2 repeatedly. Don't forget to label the horizontal axis. Next, we shade the area of interest. We want to know what proportion of side-by-side -side refrigerators have a usable capacity between 13.6 cubic feet and 19.6 cubic feet. Now, just as a reminder, we know that about 95% of values fall within two standard deviations of the mean, but 95% is not our answer, we also have a little tail region that we can't forget about. To calculate the area of this tail region, we can use symmetry and then divide by two. So let's do the subtraction, 99.7 minus 95%. But we don't want both of those little end tail regions, we only want this upper part. So we divide by two, and this region is approximately 2.35% of the entire normal curve. So the grand total shaded area is 0.95 plus 0.0235 equals 0.9735. That means that the proportion of side-by-side -side refrigerators that have a usable capacity between 13.6 and 19.6 cubic feet is about 0.9735. Notice that we left this answer in decimal form because the question asks for a proportion rather than asking for a percent. Question five asks us to find and interpret the 16th percentile of the distribution. So we're gonna begin by drawing and labeling that normal curve one more time. And let's use the empirical rule. Remember that 68% of observations fall within one standard deviation of the mean. That means that 16% of observations fall below 14.8 and 16% of observations fall above 17.2. Now when we're asked for a percentile, we just strictly want area to the left of 14.8. So we shade this region and we can state that approximately 16% of side-by-side -side refrigerators have a usable capacity that is less than 14.8 cubic feet. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching Lesson App 2.4. How big is your fridge?